All right, so, uh, welcome back to CTV Morning Live. Scott Watson is joining us from Watson's Pharmacy for our Ask the Expert segment, 789-6559, extension 2803 is the number to call. You can find us on Facebook, email, Twitter. I just want to continue on with the conversation because we're talking about allergies and we were starting to move into more of the natural products. Right, so, we, um, table. so we did want to talk about those. Um, there are some studies that show that Patatalax, which is butterbur, uh, is very effective. It can be a substitute. It's a little more expensive, but it does show that um, it is a natural product that can be beneficial for allergies. Milk thistle, uh, they've actually done studies that show they've taken people, tried Claritin plus milk thistle, and they got better relief. So there, there is a study out there that shows that it does have some benefit. Simple saline, people have heard of the neti pots, mm -hmm. just rinsing your, your nasal passageways with saline can have a very beneficial effect, and I've seen that even in some of my staff, they, uh, they come in uh, every morning and they're using their neti pots and they do get experience relief. With There's that. a bit of that cleansing and especially too, if you do have that pressure, there is that relief that comes from it, even if well, it just not getting the target. And if there is danders and pollens in there, they can help get rid of that too. Great idea. And then the other two? So the, some people really get the eyes and that itchy red eyes. And um, so I just wanted to briefly talk about some of the medicines there. Uh, they do have antihistamines and decongestants as well. Um, again, these decongestants that are in these eye drops, they do really take the itch away, but people, if you are using those products, uh, just be cautious not to use them too long because of that rebound congestion, uh, that itchiness, redness can come back just from not having that medicine. You get, there's a, the body right. gets accustomed to it and it's That's craving right. it. Kind of like I am with Vaseline on my lips. It's like... Uh, That's right. <laughs> I know. You I have it. You know, you get, you, get, you get that. A lot of people have that with lip balms or anything that they, they always constantly want that. Yeah. Um, I do believe that we have a caller on the yeah. line, so I want to get in it. It's right on topic. So I believe Claudia's uh, on the line. Good morning. Are you there with Claudette? Yes, I am. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's your question? My question is, uh, is there one of the medication that is best for, like I have the, uh, the runny eyes, the runny nose, and the post-nasal drip, but okay. I am also on uh, medication for uh, uh, high blood pressure. What is there that's... one that sh can be taken or shouldn't be taken? Well, that is such a great question because that's, that always brings up um, whether if you're already taking a medicine, should you watch out for interactions, and that's a very good question. Uh, blood pressure, we don't worry so much about antihistamines because that's fine. So you can take, you know, the Benadryl, just watch out for the drowsiness. Claritin or Aries or Reactin, those are probably very good choices. They have less chance of uh, causing drowsiness and they can be taken with people with blood pressure agents. And uh, it's just once daily. So I'd probably recommend that second generation antihistamine, uh, the Aries or the Claritin or the Reactin. Uh, it's going to take care of all those symptoms you described, and uh, you can take it. So that's it's safe for those that are taking right. anything that has to do with the blood pressure. So Claudette, right. hopefully we're able to help you out there. Okay. Thank you for that question. Uh, please feel free to call in and let us know. We'll continue to move down. And the one thing you said uh, with the pens is uh, check the expiry dates. Yes. So um, a severe form of allergy to insects or peanuts and, I mean, wasps are starting to come out, right? So people are allergic to wasp things and they, some people are just, it's a very serious reaction. Uh, so the EpiPens, so what I wanted to talk about is if you are using these products, um, make sure the expiry date is good because I have heard stories of people using them and they're not, they're out of date and they just didn't get the benefit that they have. So make sure you got a good expiry date. Uh, there's a little bit of research or a little bit of um, communication saying that if people are going into remote places uh, to carry two of these because uh, there's a certain percentage of people they use one and then the symptoms re uh, come back before they get to the hospital. So if you have two, that should ensure you get to the hospital in time. Okay. Is there a safety aspect of how long you can go between taking them or if you're in that situation and you you're in the what? woods, you're, you're coming out, the better to just better to use it, it yeah so usually uh, if you're using it one you're hopefully going to get uh, the reaction taken away for several you know 10 20 minutes if it returns before you get to the hospital you got that second one there just in case okay okay good tip right there yeah following through the rest of the table uh, yes uh, the DEET uh, insect repellent so Lots of mums coming in and saying, when can I start to use DEET repellents with the kids? Uh, general rule, six months and above to two years. Uh, they can use products that do have DEET and it is safe. 
uh, as long as it's less than 10%. So there are many of these types of products that have less than 10% DHT. Uh, you can only use one application. Children over two, you can use it a few times throughout the day. And uh, over older people and older children, you can get higher up to 30% uh, DHT. Although... So stay uh, under the 10%, the younger under children, the 10, and then... For the children, you know, older children, uh, teens and whatnot, adults can start to get up to 30%. Okay, great information right there. Good. We do have to take a break. Uh, we do have another segment coming your way with uh, Scott from Watson's Pharmacy. Send us your question. Give us a call on the air like Claudette did, 789-6559, extension 2803. Now, there are two locations uh, for Watson's Pharmacy. Of course, they have their main one at 192 Main Street. Just beautiful, the Watson's Pharmacy and Compounding Center. Also, you have uh, the newest one at 1308 Wellington Street West. You can find uh, more information, www.watsonspharma.com. Number listed there as well. We're back with more after this.